Good afternoon. We are back in Matthew. Um, we were talking about John the Baptist. And um, Lord, we ask for a word of wisdom and um, understanding as we go to your word. Open eyes and open ears. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. So we'll pick it up here in chapter 3, verse 5. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea to be baptized by John, and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and the Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, and any time there's a viper, children of the, the original serpent there, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth therefore fruits, meet for repentance. Your fruits deserve um, recompense. And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe, he's going to give him a warning here. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Spirit, and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor. This is talking about the, the threshing floor. Um, and I doesn't say this in the notes, but to me, it um, is also talking about, or relates to the parable of the tares that we'll get to in chapter 13 um, here of Matthew, where... The devil planted tares in the field that look that and tares are, are like weeds that look like wheat and it's um, and he further explains that those weeds are the children of the devil and the wheat is, is God's field and so at the end he's gonna gather all the bad ones up and burn them basically so I think that's what this is referring to. Whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. The chaff will be in the tares. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. You're Jesus, you're our Messiah, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. How beautiful is that? And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Precious chapter there. So we will continue on um, with chapter 4. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And I thought it was really interesting. The note down here uh, calls attention that he went immediately after being anointed as the Messiah into this temptation with the devil. And here it says um, that basically that he had to be tempted just like Adam did, the original um, son, which I thought was very interesting. Um, and when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungered. And then when the tempter came to him, the devil, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, 
Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And I'm going to leave that there. Um, there's a couple more temptations, but it's going to take us more than a minute or two to get through them. So, happy Sunday. Love and blessings to all of you. And we will continue there tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.